Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find luggage made in the USA. Back again with another video for y'all, actually following up on a previous video I did on how to find bags made in the USA. That category is incredibly broad, we didn't have a lot of time to dive deep on luggage. So today we're going to be talking about how to spot luggage that's made in the USA, my top picks for American made luggage, and as always make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be talking about some of the big brands in the luggage industry and where they're actually made. Now, per usual, also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article, or you can just Google All American Reviews Best Luggage, and you should see our article there. And remember, if you're passionate about buying American-made products, make sure to like and subscribe, and head over to allamericanreviews.com. There you're gonna find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American-made. All right, let's get into today's video on how to spot luggage made in the USA. All right, first up, let's cover all of the different materials in luggage and how to spot which are made in the USA. Luggage is typically split into a couple of different categories, hard side luggage and soft side luggage. So in terms of material sourcing, you're looking at plastic for hard side luggage and then typically some sort of blend of synthetic fabrics for soft side luggage. And of course you need to consider the hardware as well. So stuff like frames and wheels and other stuff that's going to be around your pieces of luggage. Soft side luggage in general is typically easier to find American sourcing options for. In terms of hard side luggage, China and other popular offshore manufacturing centers have a really big stranglehold on market share in terms of production for materials like ABS and polycarbonate. It's not impossible to find American sourcing options for those materials, but it is tough to come by. So we're gonna talk about what that means for our top picks for American made hard side luggage here in a minute. But just to give you some numbers, the biggest exporters of ABS in the world are South Korea, China, and Malaysia, which together make up 50% of total production of that product in the entire world. And the US comes in at 3%. For polycarbonate, South Korea is also the world's largest producer coming in at 13%. The US is actually second in polycarbonate production coming in at 11%. And then we are followed by Thailand, China, and Japan in that material sourcing category. For soft side luggage, I've talked about a lot of synthetic fabrics and what's typically used in bags and other products in some of my previous videos, so definitely make sure to check those out if you're curious about material sourcing and some of the most popular exporters of those materials for that type of product. So bottom line, just make sure to do your research on materials by calling or emailing the brand if you can't find that information on their website, or of course you can always hit us up at All American Reviews. And remember, if you're shopping in store, the country of origin should be stamped on the product or packaging, thanks to Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the U.S. Code that requires it. All right, now that we've covered materials and some tips on spotting luggage made in the USA, let's get into my top picks for American-made luggage. Now, there's a lot of really good luggage brands that are made in the USA, particularly in the soft side category, and more than I have time to cover in today's video. So. For a full list of all of our research on American-made luggage, make sure to check out that article in the description below, or like I said earlier, just Google All American Reviews Luggage and you should see us there. Also make sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to give a shout out to your favorite American-made luggage brand. In no particular order, let's start off with some soft side luggage and duffels. So first up is Red Ox. Red Ox is a veteran owned and operated company. They got started in 1986 and are out of Billings, Montana. If you need a durable piece of luggage, these guys are it. They have some great duffel bags, some duffel bags that convert into functional backpacks, and some other great carry-on items. So if you need something strong, definitely check out Red Ox. Next is Flowfold. Flowfold also makes some great duffels and they are all about using recycled materials in all of their products. Now I have some of their accessories like their wallet that I carry with me every single day and I also use their conductor duffel bag for short haul trips. They also make some other good carry-ons and backpacks so if you're looking for something that's lightweight and eco-friendly, Flowfold is a good option. Next is Cinda B. Cinda B makes a great soft side roller bag that is in my opinion one of the best American made options out there and they also make a lot of other really good travel items like cosmetic bags, uh, weekender bags, and a bunch of other accessories. 
Everything is stain resistant and really easy to access, so if you choose Cinda B, it should be a reliable travel companion for years to come. Next is Tough Traveler. Tough Traveler is based in Schenectady, New York, and has been around since 1970. Similar to Cinda B, Tough Traveler has some great wheeled options, although in some more muted colors that some folks might like more. They come in a ton of sizes and varieties, so whether you need something larger to stow under the plane or a nice small carry-on, Tough Traveler should have something for you. All right, a couple other great soft side bag options to serve as carry-on. First up, Frost River. These guys make a great waxed canvas bag. I've talked about them a couple of times before, but they have a lot of good variety. And then Cayman Road as well. Great small leather goods shop. Check out their Weekender bag in particular. All right, so how about hard side luggage? Like I said earlier, a bit tougher to find companies that are making hard side luggage with 100% US sourced materials, but we did find one company in particular that we wanted to shout out that came close, and that is Rome Luggage. These folks are based in San Diego, California and produce customizable hard sided luggage. Now they say that they are handcrafted in the USA because they're only assembled here. Some of their materials used in the luggage are imported, although they are put together by hand by American workers. So just know that going in if you're interested in picking up some Rome luggage. Finally, I want to throw in one more top pick for y'all. You can't go anywhere without a nice toiletry bag. And one of my favorites comes from a company called Lifetime Leather. They make some great leather accessories, whether it's for travel or other use cases. So definitely check out their toiletry bag and some of their other travel accessories. All right, now let's get to some of the big players in the industry and where they're actually made. First up, is Away Luggage made in the USA? And the answer is no. This popular hard side luggage brand known for their built-in battery chargers and locks on their luggage that is really popular with younger generations is made in China. Next is Samsonite Luggage made in the USA. Sadly, Samsonite Luggage is no longer made in the USA. A lot of their production is in India, Europe, and China these days. Back when they were in Denver, Colorado, they had a factory with over 4,000 American workers that unfortunately shut down in May 2001. Next is Eagle Creek luggage made in the USA. Eagle Creek is a more casual, outdoorsy vibe, but sadly they are no longer made in the USA and actually ceased operations at the end of 2021. They were acquired by VF Corporation in 2007, and if that sounds familiar, it's because we've talked about that corporation in some of our previous videos. They've acquired brands like Timberland, The North Face, Smart Wool, and other American-born companies, and do pretty much all of their manufacturing overseas. Like I mentioned earlier, check out Red Ox and Frost River as some good alternatives here. And lastly is Tumi Luggage made in the USA. And the answer is no, this popular luggage brand is made in China. All right, that's it for this video on how to find luggage made in the USA. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews and we'll help find out for you. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See you all next time.